Hey, we all have screwdrivers in our tool bag, but let me ask you something. What is so important about this set of three red Milwaukee screwdrivers right here? Why is it that we think it's so important that I think every one of you should have one of these in your bag? Why do these save your lives? How are these different than these other standard screwdrivers? Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about this set of screwdrivers from Milwaukee. And if you continue to watch the video till the end, we're going to show you instructions how we're going to give away one set of these screwdrivers here from Milwaukee to one lucky winner. So stay tuned to the very end. Okay, so if you look at these screwdrivers here, these look similar to our other screwdrivers. See, look, so here's our standard Phillips head screwdriver here. But I'm going to set two of these down here side by side. Let me get a, a Phillips one here. And can you tell me the difference between these screwdrivers? So this right here is the Milwaukee screwdriver, one of them from the insulated set. This set of screwdrivers right here is insulated for a thousand volts. So this comes real in handy for you if you have to do any, any electrical work or in an electrical outlet where there might be energized wires. And so if you look real close here, you can see the standard screwdriver here is metal. And this can short out an electrical box. Okay, so here's a, a metal electrical box here, right? And of course, this isn't even for an outlet, but I'm just putting in here to show you that you could be in a position like this sometimes where you have to get at something that's uh, back in there like that, right? And this is an energized pin, let's say, for some stupid reason. And with the metal here, you could short this to the, to the wall there. It could be a huge zap. But what if your finger was touching somewhere down there when that happened? What, supposing your finger was up against this metal box and you touch that energized thing and then zap, you just got shocked. So Milwaukee came up with a great way around that by coming up with these insulated drivers here. So what this is, is this is all some type of uh, composite hard plastic here. And then only the tip is metal, because that has to be. It has to be tough metal to be able to act as a screwdriver, right? So you just you know, use your screwdrivers in here. But if I was to be working on this right here and I short against the, the metal box here, you can see I'm not going to get shocked because that's plastic there. And it turns out this is insulated up to a thousand volts. And what I really like about these screwdrivers here is they, they put on the top there what they do. Not every screwdriver has that. So this one here, it says that it's a Phillips head. And it says right there, here's your thousand volt rating. So the other screwdriver that comes in this set is a six inch uh, flathead screwdriver. So that also gives you the little icon on top too. So it makes it very easy to identify when you have them in your bag. Here. And then the final screwdriver bit, which I, I really love this one here. This is called an ECX bit. And if you look real close, it kind of looks like it's a Phillips head and it kind of looks like it's a flathead. And the reason why it's, this tool is made for doing electrical work, like on the switch here, so you see on the switch here, on the screws there, it looks like it's maybe a Phillips head and a flathead. So that's that ECX bit. So this screwdriver kind of goes in here, and it gives you the best of both worlds. So it's covering, the flathead part of the screwdriver is covering that slit, and then the, the Phillips head part is covering the middle part here. So that's, that makes it give you a much better grip when you're tightening these screws here. Of course, if I had my way, I've never liked Phillips heads or flat heads. These should all be star bits, in my opinion. So as we look at these three drivers here, you can see they all have the insulation protection on it, and they're all metal only at the tips. And that's what makes these such a great tool to have for anybody that does any kind of electrical work. And even if you're not doing electrical work, you can still use these. They're, they're still a great tool. And so you can see as we put these in our tool bag here, we can easily tell at a, at a glance which one I need at any given time. That's why I put them right here, right at the top, so I can look straight down on the bag on them. And if you look, you know, my other, this is, a I just happen to know that this is a flathead, but still, um, it's always convenient when you can have it, your drivers marked I try to use marked drivers all the time so that I don't ever have to worry or guess which one it is. Okay, so these screwdrivers here, they have uh, dual layers of insulation. They're flame resistant and they are impact resistant too. So they're, 
I've dropped them hundreds of times and they just simply don't break. These things are really, really super tough. They're not cheap, flexible plastic, they're nice and tough. And you can see it also comes with lanyard holes too. So you can hang these, hang them on hooks, hang them off uh, anything really. All right, so just a review of what we get here with the kit. You get a number two bit Phillips head by four inch. You get here a number one sized ECX bit, four inch, and you get a six inch long regular flathead, quarter inch flathead. Well, as we promised at the beginning of this video, we are giving away a tool giveaway here today. We're giving you this free set of Milwaukee screwdrivers here, the insulated screwdrivers. Okay, so here's what you need to do to win. This is only open to our subscribers, so you must be a subscriber to this channel. And then leave down in the comments below the reason why we should send you this particular tool set. And we're going to pick one lucky winner, and that will be announced next week. Okay? And if you don't claim your prize within 30 days, then we'll have to give it to the next person. Well, I hope you found this tool review useful, and if you did, we'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up down below in the comments there. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can come back here and binge watch many more videos and tool reviews and uh, all sorts of engineering projects and repair projects around your house. And when you hit the subscribe button, be sure to hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified as soon as we upload a video, you will never miss a video. So that's it for this week, folks, and we'll see you on the next one.